So now we start doing our income statement. What's the first thing I need to do on my income statement? Title, yes, that's right. So my title is Antonio's Arts. O-N-I-O. Uh, uh, Arts Supply, or no, it's Antonio's Arts. Four year ended. Thirty first of May two thousand and twelve. Now this is the important bit. This is one mark. You can put down Antonio's arts, you can put down this, but what I'm really looking for is for the year ended, thirty first. You want to tell me how long this financial statement is going for. So that's the important thing. <coughs> what's the next thing I need to do? What's the first, once I put my title in, what's the first line of my income statement? No, not assets. We put in sales. And what are my sales? It's now we adjusted it to 160,000. And I'll just put a little tick next to my sales. What's the next thing I put into my income statement? Cost of sales or cost of goods sold. Yep. So my cost of goods sold here, less cost of goods sold. And how much is my cost of goods sold? 50,000. And then I give another title which I call gross profit. Uh, and that gives me 110,000. I'll just focus that quickly. That's a little bit better focus. What do I do next? That's right, less expenses. Okay, so now, I, normally you can put your expenses in the largest to the smallest, but I'm just gonna follow down the sheet and wherever I see an expense, I'm gonna put that amount down so that I can tick off my expenses as I go. So what's my first expense? Advertising. And my advertising expense is worth 5,000. And I'm going to tick that off. What's my next one? My next one is electricity. So and my electricity comes in at 2,000. And tick that off. Interest. And my interest expense is. Uh, where is it? 500. Put in 500. Tick that one off. Interest receivable. We've already ticked off cost of goods sold. Salaries expense. Is 28,000. Salaries payable, not supplies. Supplies expense. Uh, 19,000. Is there any others? Depreciation of my motor vehicles and of my buildings. I need to include. So now my motor vehicles was 2,100 and my buildings was 3,600. And who's real fast on the calculator and could add all those up for me? That's right, it's 60,200. 
60,200 is my total, and then this. So my. How much is it? 36,000 or 3,600? It's 2%, not 20%. 1% of 100 is 1. So 2% of 180 couldn't be 36. So my answer here is 49,800. And that is my income statement. But we've still got a few more questions here. It asks me, explain the difference between accrual accounting and cash accounting. Well, my accrual accounting and my cash accounting, what's the difference between the, the two? Okay, so let's do B here. All right, so accrual accounting and cash accounting. So we're doing this question here, explain the difference between accrual accounting and cash accounting. Cash accounting. Recognises. So cash accounting recognises a transaction when the cash is received or paid, an accrual transaction, accounting I should say, recognises a transaction when it occurs. Or consumed. So it recognises a transaction when it occurs or is when it's consumed. So a sale is when it occurs and an expense is when it is consumed. So it's not necessarily when we have cash flight. And then we've got C, explain the difference between rent expense and prepaid rent. Rent expense, it's really a difference between expenses and prepaid, so when we have something that's prepaid or we have something that is an expense, uh, what's the difference? Rent expense is recognises the use of an the use of an item. So we've used the amount. So we've used up the rent. Whereas prepaid rent is the unused amount of an item. in this case rent.